Hey y'all and welcome to the video and thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to be discussing the news that recently came out about BoxyCharm and Ipsy merging and kind of being under the same roof, which I figured would eventually happen because Ipsy bought BoxyCharm back in 2020. Personally, I'm no longer a BoxyCharm subscriber. It just hasn't felt authentic anymore since Joe left. Remember when he used to film videos and post them to socials of him just like casually hanging out somewhere within the boxy charm offices and he'll sneak peek products in the back and it was always so much fun to try and figure out what those products were for spoilers in the next box that's another reason why i kind of stopped doing boxy charm spoilers because it just it's not really a mystery anymore and he just made boxy charm really fun and i really just preferred boxy charm and even the products when joe was the face of boxy charm because i don't know it just felt more authentic that way, more personal, and just all around more fun. And I just, BoxyCharm's products to me, I feel like even though it probably has nothing to do with Joe and whatnot, the products to me just weren't as exciting. Neither were the boxes and all of that. So that's why I canceled BoxyCharm. I'm just kind of like done with it. But now that Ipsy, you know, bought BoxyCharm, we're noticing a lot of repeated items, things that you were only getting in BoxyCharm, you never saw over in Ipsy, were now in Ipsy and vice versa, but not so much Ipsy into BoxyCharm, but more BoxyCharm products into Ipsy, which is actually a good thing because I prefer BoxyCharm items usually over Ipsy. I just prefer the customization more with Ipsy and being able to choose the products coming in your bag, whereas you only got to choose one item for your base box in BoxyCharm, and that was usually the only item I really liked if I even liked those choices. But I can also see where it's really frustrating when you have BoxyCharm and you have Ipsy and you keep getting repeats, especially if it's a repeated item that you don't like. My recommendation on that is just, you know, resell it on Poshmark. That's what I like to do is, you know, declutter my makeup and stuff like that that I am not going to be using just so it can get used from somebody else, somebody that did want that item, or if they did enjoy it, they're, you know, getting a backup or restocking. But ooh, I don't really know what this is going to become. So I'm going to read this article. I'm going to read it from hellosubscription.com and we're going to give our thoughts and opinions on this. I want to know what you guys think down below. Do you think that them uh, merging together is going to be a good thing, a bad thing? Is this basically the end of BoxyCharm? I, I don't know. I just feel like I don't know. It's weird. Let me just, let me read the article and we will make a final thought once we read that. So, did you receive a new member survey? It seems BoxyCharm and Ipsy are coming together based on the notice received by a Redditor. It may not be a surprise since Ipsy acquired BoxyCharm late last year and Ipsy's refreshments has been heavily advertised as a sign-up perk with BoxyCharm for the past few months. With the two brands coming together, it seems like Ipsy Glamback Plus Plus may be retired and will transition into the new BoxyCharm by Ipsy membership. There would still be member perks like access to add-ons, pop-ups, flash sales, plus up to 80% off to the 24-7 online shop. It seems like members are getting more value now up to $215 with their five full-size products for the same price of $28 per month, but no drawstring back. Bag. No word in this information about what could potentially happen with BoxyCharm Premium and BoxyCharm Lux, or if this is only an evolution of the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So it doesn't have a timeline and nothing has officially been confirmed by the brands, but if you have this kind of information, you kind of put two and two together and it normally always does happen. So it says new name, same control. Your Glam Bag Plus membership will transition to BoxyCharm by Ipsy. But don't worry, you'll still get to choose three of your five full-size faves every second through the third of the month. That does sound like they're getting rid of the Glam Bag Plus and making it BoxyCharm, but only getting to choose three out of the five products. Okay, so it reads hot brands, 
even better value. You'll continue to get five full size of the hottest products now at an even better value up to $215 for the same price as just $28 a month. And you'll receive even more new launches, buzzworthy brand exclusives, and emerging trendsetter from brands such as Too Faced, Huda Beauty, Sunday Riley, and Fenty Beauty than ever before, all personalized to you based on your beauty quiz and reviews. How? We're saying bye-bye to the drawstring bag and putting that towards better products at a better value and packaging in a 100% recyclable box. Honestly, the drawstring bags are probably like pennies to make, so I don't really see that there. Um, and it says deals and steals. Don't worry, you'll still get member perks with access to add-ons, pop-ups, and flash, as well as our 24-7 online shop with one added perk. Now you can enjoy up to 80% off. It's the best bargains that beauty has to offer. I do have to say, I do prefer BoxyCharm's pop-up sales and add-ons over Ipsy's because I just don't like all of the brands Ipsy has to offer, which is why I'm a little bit happy with BoxyCharm merging into Ipsy and getting more of those well-known named brands versus brands that are all owned under the one umbrella company that's cheaply made from like Alibaba. You know what I mean? Those kind of filler brands that are very expensive, but yet they're literally like under Claire makeup quality. You know what I mean? Um, they're just like box fillers. So there's a few more things on this article. It says, FYI, about a month ago, Beauty for All Industries, which is the parent company of Ipsy and BoxyCharm, raised a $96 million venture round to improve technology, expand into physical retail and global markets. They're producing DTC brands like Complex Culture, Item Beauty, which is Addison Ray's brands, Tre Tresluce Beauty, which is Becky G. Oh, I didn't know that. No wonder they're in there this month. Okay, so... Okay, Becky G's got her brand because of Ipsy. Good, okay. BFA pulls data from subscriber feedback and quizzes to help curate items and drive ideas for new product launches. Do you think both Ipsy and BoxyCharm brands are useful in this model? Hmm. So it also said, what do you think of Ipsy and BoxyCharm merging? Will you still subscribe? Which is also my question to you. Now there is a few comments down here. I want to go ahead and read them. So it says from Dorothy Snyder, she said, I'm a BoxyCharm lover now. If it changes, I think I'm going to cancel mine out. I personally don't like Ipsy at all. So if the merge together is just nor not going to be worth it for me. I'll give it a try one more time. But if it boxy charm turns into Ipsy, no way am I paying for that. This is so disappointing and depressing for me to hear this. Thanks. And then um, Lori said, I currently subscribe to Ipsy Glam Bag, Glam Bag Plus, and BoxyCharm Face Box. I'm curious to see how all of this is going to play out. In the meantime, I'm faced with a current dilemma of renewing my yearly Ipsy Plus, going month to month, or possibly canceling my BoxyCharm Face Box. I wish I knew when the changes were coming and just had more information. And then from Daya, it says, the whole 215 value is a bit BS. In my opinion, they tend to include a random serum or eye mask that no one's ever heard of and claim it's worth $125. I do have to say that's very true. There's also been times where this has been proved, but don't quote me, this is allegedly um, that... This has allegedly been proved that products that were in BoxyCharm were produced strictly for BoxyCharm, which it says made for BoxyCharm and they'll leave out the expensive ingredients that actually make the product worth that and then that's how BoxyCharm could acquire the product for and have it in there for so cheap is because the product that's driving the price or the ingredient that's driving the price of the product up isn't in there so therefore it cheapens it drastically that's all that's all hearsay not factual for legal reasons but um yeah that's been something that has been circulating for years. So I just wanted to mention that. Also me as an Open Studios member, I haven't heard anything about this at all. Like I haven't heard like what's changing, what's new, anything like that. Um, I don't know when this is going into effect personally. Like I haven't gotten any email. I haven't heard from any of the people from MC Open Studios about this. So um, 
I'm not sure exactly when this is going to happen, what this means and all of that, but I will let you guys know in an update if I do get that information or if Ipsy does officially announce it or BoxyCharm. Um, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Are you upset about this? Are you okay with this? Like, what are the feels with BoxyCharm and Ipsy turning into one? Getting rid of Ipsy Plus and BoxyCharm Base Box, basically, and making it one? I don't know. It's all confusing. I do need more information. Just based off of this initial <laughs> little, little information here, um, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Let me know all your opinions. Um, thank you guys so much for being here and watching as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!